When I went out to do wildlife photography this morning, I was not prepared for this. After a long day searching for some different birds, I had an encounter with a great egret that would change the way I saw them forever. But first, let's talk about how the day started. I headed out to my local river to photograph some wildlife. The recent fires have placed smoke covering the horizon these last few weeks, so the atmosphere was mysterious and tinted for a while after sunrise. Upon walking out, I stumbled upon a desert cottontail and started off my morning by taking this first shot of the beautiful creature. Good morning, you guys. Hope you're doing well. We're out here on a beautiful morning in nature out by the riverway with some marshland mixed in here. It's a really, really amazing spot to be full of wildlife. What's really cool about this place last year is I got the most amazing footage of a great blue heron, made a video on it, which is one of my most popular videos, um, of a great blue heron capturing and spearing a gopher. And so I know it's gonna be an amazing day out here in nature. I'm so excited to bring you guys along with me. As the sunrise came out, I saw a snowy egret out fishing in the lake. Now, normally, I'd never shoot down into the water like this, but I wanted to show you guys a little bit of how they fish by scaring them out of the vegetation and shaking the plants. You can see he just got one of his first meals of the day. It was time to continue down to the riverside. And although the smoke is horrible, I'll have to admit, I was excited to use it for some unique lighting and coloring on the wildlife. As I got into position by the riverside, I was excited to be visited by that old familiar friend, the great blue heron, as he flew in to take a landing. Now, while my heron friend didn't come any closer, it was exciting to also be visited by an osprey hunting along the basin. It was a distant and quick encounter, but a flyby offered a cool opportunity to capture this photo here. The great egret, a majestic bird and iconic in its appeal. They often are found wading in water searching for their next meal to spear with their bill. As I was sitting waterside, one started to move towards me as he hunted for fish, leading to some cool shots of him and the coloring in the background reflecting. While this was an exciting encounter, it was nothing compared to the moment I was about to have with one soon. So far, my day was off to a good start, and about to get a lot better soon. As I walked back up the riverbank into the ledge of the drop-off, I had a quick encounter with this sharp-shinned hawk that was diving after some prey. What a cool bird. So finally, that brings us here. My day was about to get really exciting with this next encounter. As I was packing up and heading home for the day, I saw a great egret preening out in the field. Now, if you remember my comment about catching a great blue heron spearing a gopher in the previous video out in the field, it'll make sense why I decided to stick around for a while to see what would happen here. I kept my distance at first and allowed for the egret to get comfortable with me. Typically, they're pretty skittish birds and I didn't want to disturb him, but with time, he allowed me to move closer and closer.
And so the hunt began. This great egret was suited up and ready to go. Something caught his attention while resting around this bush, and he planned his route of attack. He missed it. Unfortunately, the lizard, gopher, or whatever it was, must have ran away. But wait. Yeah, seems like it did. Throughout the morning, I witnessed the great egret make attempts to capture and feed his body the nourishment it needed to keep going. He was patient and resilient in his prowess, but attempt after attempt kept seeming to slip away just slightly before he was able to capture it. The morning was getting late and the sun was beating down harshly, and he was constant in his pursuit of making a meal for himself. He roamed around, searching bush after bush for something to eat. And just as I was getting ready to take off and leave him alone, something started to happen. I was honored to be able to show you guys such an amazing moment on film. It really is thrilling to witness the story of wildlife up so close and personal. If you enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe below as it helps me out. And if you want to see the video of the great blue heron spearing a gopher, check out this one here. I'll see you guys next time.